Oh. It's uh, Tuesday. Turn right, Ealing Wolf. Ealing Wolf is leaving. Very well, high overnighted. Quite night. It's uh, 16, and be, to be precise, 0. 0.5 degrees, and I'm obviously in my shorts. Because that's what I do. And we're off to, uh, uh, it's um, defrog. Pirate in there. Oh, there's another one coming through. Tipper boys. Tuborg. T Rex. Tuborg T Rex. Oh, that's disaffected you from the corner of it. <coughs> At least he's up. Looking for a going to work by the looks of it. Turn right, 3776 High Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good to go. Come on in. Imagine living here with these trucks coming out all the time. Clunking and clanking. Right, so. Straight out the M3, M25, in. So it should be a nice clean run up. It's a load. And then back down here again. I think. I didn't even check to see if it was coming back down here actually. Yep, coming back down here again. Seven. Oh, Carl again. Left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Do you know, I don't know where the MAN garage is. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, M271, towards Thursday, then Pete What's occurring? Nothing. Let's go. because there's uh, nothing on board, I'm empty. Just a, it's basically just a trailer. The box only weighs two tonnes, so it's absolutely nothing. <coughs> I reckon this is something like a 460 or a 480. Not a great deal of bump to it. My plan of action this morning is to get to uh, Winchester, pull in, use the facilities, and then get up there. I mean, you know, it's got me in at 10 to 8 at the moment. I don't have to be there till 9, so absolutely gallant to time. I'm not going to afford to stop. I forgot my coffee, mate. 
smoke. I took it out and give it a good scrub. I don't normally do that. And uh, I took it out this time when I was off. And I've got to put it back in. So I'm drinking, I've got a, a metal flask that I bought out of Tesco. It's a couple of years ago now and it just, it's, it's, it's bulletproof. It's really good. But of course I can't put that in the microwave, can I? So, I like a milky coffee in the morning. So I had to use a, luckily on board I had a square Tupperware container, a little square Tupperware one. And uh, I had to heat my coffee up and drink it out of that this morning. It was a bit, a bit weird. And then I make me met and make me a metal flask, cup, holder type thing. I made that with me uh, stove and uh, kettle. There's no, there's very little flat surfaces in here though, in this man. There's no, nowhere to put, you know, you got, I've got to put a cooker on it. It's not designed for trampers. Well, I say that. The cab, the, the, the rest area, the bed area is, it's got lights and charging points and little cubby holes and stuff like that, put your phone and stuff like that and charge your phone up and, and lights and pockets and you know I did find that it wasn't quite as comfortable as other trucks <clears throat> and um <clears throat> come on yeah it wasn't quite as comfortable I didn't think comfortable enough and uh, but there's no way to cook a meal. M27, then take the motorway. There's no way to put a stove, so I'd lay it. You know, you got to put the stove on the the box that it comes in, the little carry case that it comes in. Stick that on the passenger seat, and then stick the tow stove on top of that. So yeah, it's pretty rubbish. And the dashboard slopes. Built out of the dashboard was flat, and they could quite easily do that. But instead they've got it sloping, so it's, it's, yeah, that's rubbish. <laughs> the only place you can put a mug other than a, 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 a tea mug, there's nowhere to put a tea mug in this thing. All cup holders, but they're for like cans or bottles. So you wouldn't get a handle down into, do you know what I mean? It's like, hang on a minute, what are you Design this. place to park my friend <laughs> I'll just uh <clears throat> many outside here watch you on your phone you dick suspect he's on the wrong side of the services So this is Winchester Services. <clears throat> Turn left, then bear left. Bears left. Turn left, then bear left. Bear left. I see no bears. They've got bear fencing up though. Look at that. <clears throat> My voice is going. Bears. 
be done. Well, as much as we can, isn't it? Better than that, Dad. Only it changes down really quickly. So you've got you get initial acceleration, and then you get then it's just like oh, we're just going to uh, like this soft ass eco mode. Cruise on 53, and away we go. Next stop, well, we're just to the right of Heathrow Airport, but in the stone, we go down the uh, perimeter, we go down the perimeter road actually. So, uh, we might see some planes. I haven't been to this place before, I thought I might have been, but uh, I've done a few around Heathrow. But this is a, a big unit, proper, proper company, so it uh, should be okay. Famous last words, of course. Probably be a right shit on. So anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. And uh, I'll speak to you when I get up to near at Heathrow. Speak to you later. Hello, oh, M25. About to come off here. M3 was a bit slow in places. I've got to get across here somewhere. M3 was a little slow as you edged up towards the uh, last 10 miles. It was moving ish. They're putting in uh, new emergency uh, laybys, apparently. That's what the sign says. Making it a bit more smarter. Come off here on this one. Right in the roundabout, I think. It did say that in the last sign, didn't it? This is misleading roundabouts. I hate them. So it says M25 North. We'll find out as we go around, won't we? we? Might upset some people here. Need to get in this other lane. Are you going to let me? Well, it sort of does go round. It does go round. Take the exit, A3113, Airport Way. Oh, misleading or what? Right.
for the next round of it. Six lanes to choose from here. Where are we going to go? Uh, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Southern Perimeter Road. Let's take this one here. We're within the lines. into my line. Sunshine. Just about across the next round of After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Southern Perimeter Road. a little bit lighter as you get further down here. Number 40. So yeah, but it's over to my left. You might see some planes here. Yeah, over to the left, maybe. Speed limit. There's shit loads of cameras along here. Over the next roundabout. This reminds me of Holland with the water on the right there. Me. Clearly in a hurry to lose his wing mirrors. Go on then. Oh, Bennett, get all of you. It's round about over again.
Is that coach going to go through? Look at that, straight through, red light. You, my sir, are a star. Not. Passengers on board as well. Professional driver, eh? It's not like he was like committed. He just went for it. So down at this roundabout, I've got to get into the right-hand lane, and there's a shitload of cars behind me now. Hoping everything in the right-hand lane is going to go right round the roundabout. Right, I will speak to you a little bit later on because I'm more or less here. 